Hello, welcome to our video demo of the Aztec Sidewinder. This is step two in our WorkSmart strip and wax system. I'm going to demonstrate some of the key features of the Sidewinder, as well as how to start and operate the machine. I'm first going to talk about the 20 horsepower Kawasaki engine that powers the machine. A couple main components that you need to check before each use. This foam hat filter right here needs to be clear and free of debris. This is responsible for the air supply that helps to cool the engine. Over here you will find the oil level dipstick. It's very important to make sure that there's an adequate level of oil in the machine before each use. Up front there's a secondary air filter that provides the carburetor with its air to mix in with the propane. You want to make sure that this top pre-filter is also clean and free of debris before starting the machine. The Sidewinder is a 12 volt battery key start. The underneath of the Sidewinder you will find three Malgrit strip brushes. These brushes were used on a recent demo. The deck of the machine is a planetary counter rotating brush drive. As the brush drive spins one direction, the brushes will then spin the opposite direction. What makes the Sidewinder unique and more efficient than other machines on the market is its gimbal drive. As you're doing a VCT floor that's uneven and has dips, the brush drive will free float on the floor, reaching into any dips or divots in the tile. This will eliminate the need for a doodle bug or a strip pad later on in the strip job. The Sidewinder 30 is also available in a 24 inch model. The 24 inch model also includes a front transport wheel and also includes three 10 inch strip brushes. As I lower the machine back to the floor, you will notice that our new Sidewinder now features a front transport wheel. This machine roughly weighs around 450 pounds and it allows for a much easier transporting in and out of buildings and on and off vans and trucks. As I back up here to our test floor, I'm going to demonstrate how to start and operate the Sidewinder. You will notice that in the front of the machine is the brush drive pulley. It's very important that when the machine is in this position, you do not start or run the machine. When this pulley is bent and not in alignment with the other pulleys, it can throw the belt off. Because of the gimbal drive, the brush drive will naturally pull down, thus lifting the pulley up. I'm going to lift the machine back. Zach will remove the front transport wheel. As you lower the machine to the floor, if you come in here and take a look at our pulleys, you will notice that all of our pulleys are in a line. The transport wheel is placed in and stored in the steel sleeve just behind the engine. To prepare to start the machine, connect your propane tank with the quick disconnect. Turn the propane on. You'll hear a hiss as the machine fills up with propane and builds pressure. On the back of the machine here, you'll notice our adjustable T-handle. We encourage you to find the correct height that is comfortable for you to operate the machine before attempting to start the machine. Just to the left here is the throttle lever and control for the Sidewinder. Because the brush drive is powered by a centrifugal clutch, once this throttle is moved up about midway and the machine hits roughly 1700 RPMs, the brush drive will engage and the machine will start to move. When you're on a floor covered in strip solution, the machine will grip the floor and slowly pull forward. We recommend moving at the pace the machine wants to move instead of trying to push or force the machine along the floor. 
You always want to start in a throttle down position. Turn the key. As the engine is cranking, I'll slowly move the throttle up and down to fire the engine. At this current stage, the machine is idling, so the brush drive is not engaged. In order to engage the brushes and have the machine begin stripping the floor, I'm going to stand behind the machine, one hand on the handle, and slowly begin to throttle up the machine. As you'll see the machine throttle up, you'll notice the sidewinder starts to sway side to side. When the machine is not in motion, you want to throttle it back down and allow it to idle. Should you be throttling up the machine, you want to make sure you bring it past mid-throttle. When you leave the machine in mid-throttle, it can burn up the clutch. So I'll demonstrate one more time, throttling up the machine, the brush drive engaging, and then throttling it past to begin to strip the floor. 